All right, guys, I greet you all in peace. You would recall that this AGK Misoma had since been trending and gone viral on social media ever since this week over the manipulation of a jam resort. But to my greater surprise, she kept on insisting that she never forged a resort, saying that that was the result that was given to her that she got from jam. Anyways, the truth is finally out, guys. After much interrogations, Imesoma admitted it herself that she forged the result, even without anyone helping her. Imagine deceiving over 200 million Nigerians, a case that even got the attention of lawmakers that even made them to instruct Jam to suspend any um, action against her. Well, having found out that she did this herself, I think they will proceed with the three-year suspension. That is to say, Imesoma cannot write Jam till after three years. Hmm, that's one of the small things on a big issue. Like, eh, you scored 249 and you decided to add 113 mark to make it 362. Nobody should be that. Even when she was making uh, the video, you could see the seriousness on her face, and I was even pitying her for the disgrace, for the stress, for the discomfort that she was passing through. She even said that she was traumatized. <laughs> well, guys, one thing I would say is that she should just go into ICT. Because if someone at her age can get the attention of over 200 million Nigerians and even the lawmakers, it shows that she has the potential in her. I mean the boldness, the courage, and she's also fearless. Well, I think she should just go into ICT. Look at a jam score. People are looking for this score, 249. You can't carry 113. Some of the team make 362. No big you be that. What Imesoma has done would now make jam to be more strict when it comes to results, even the exam, and even the so-called special centers in the country. Oh yes. As it stands now, jam won't want to be tainted back. So this might make them to go after all the special centers in the country. Of course, I'm sure that they are going to release a press statement any moment from now. But one question I would love to ask is what on earth made Imesoma commit such act? Is it to gain recognition? Is it to trend? Is it to uh, gain fame? Or even scholarship? Which of course we heard that um, she received from Innocent Motors. And we don't know if Innocent is going to halt that scholarship or continue with it. Normally back then in the university, when a particular student is a four-pointer, you know what that means, guys? Someone heading to first class. They would make sure that they will monitor him or her and find out how he or she is able to make it to the top. After all, she's been at the same class where we did. Ime Soma never believed that a time like this will come where Jam would investigate our results. Anyways, what do I know? While we keep hoping for a change in the country through our government, we should also know that that change begins with us. What Ime Soma did is not just a slap on our colleagues, but on our family and friends, and even to those who uh, have been supporting her on this forgery case ever since the news broke out. Even if you succeeded in manipulating your result, do you think that our universities are so gullible not to investigate before offering you admission? Anyway, maybe not picking the warrior. I remember the former Minister of Education, Obi Ezekwesele. She got into this issue and um, she ordered that there should be a um, investigation, a tech investigation. But of recent, she made a tweet after the committee that was set up by Anambra State Government had concluded their investigation and here is a tweet. I have just read of the report. I have just read the report of the committee set up by Anambra State Government to investigate and report their independent findings on the Imesoma and Jam saga. I am satisfied satisfied with the process and findings of their investigation, which gave Imesoma fair hearing to enable the committee gather all facts. It was necessary to have independent evidence that the result Imesoma laid claim to publicly was not only fake, but that the forgery was personally orchestrated by her. There are usually syndicates at the center of perpetration of exam practices in Nigeria, but it appears not to be so in Imesoma's case from the facts of the committee's report. Imesoma's action has, has consequences. I therefore support the sanctions imposed by JAM as a deterrent to all who participate in the systemic exam practices within our education system. 
I also recommend sustained counseling for Imesoma by the family, school and church to support her as she reflects on this tragic episode and makes a decision to embrace values and rewards of effort while eschewing dishonest gain for the rest of her life. Hmm. I do hope that the lessons of this case will help all our pupils, students, parents, guardians, and the public at large renew a collective commitment to uphold exam integrity in Nigeria as a cornerstone of Nigeria's values and reward system for our children and youth. I wish to thank JAM for their good work and encourage the registrar and his team to continue with their critical service to our country and people as we all join them to sustain raising of awareness on exam integrity. Obi Ageli Obi Ekweseli is Ekweseli, former Minister of Education. Well, this one is a good one. Yeah, the former Minister of Education, if she not talk anything, it go day like say she not send um, Nigerian education anymore. But now she has come out to say that see what uh, she did, what Mesoma educate did is so bad. Remember that she was supporting educating Mesoma, but it's not like if she was fully supporting her, but she was uh, she just condemned the um, the judgment that Jam gave to Mesoma that is suspending her for three years and also at sweet also got the attention of the lawmakers who also gave Jam order not to uh, suspend Mesoma but instead they should investigate into the matter and also an state government and um, governor governor Soludo also set up a committee to investigate into the matter but there is something I also want to uh, say I hope because when they asked Ms. Ma why did she do this act, she said nothing. Like she didn't say anything, she just said nothing. So does it mean that she just admitted it that um, that was the result? But who knows if that wasn't um who knows if that was actually a result? I mean the 362 that she got. Maybe the pressure, the stress is just too much, and she just decided to oh okay, fine, whatever it was, okay, fine, it's me that did it. You know, she just like lied that she's the one who did it just to, you know, make the whole thing just calm down. So I really don't know, you know, when somebody is telling the truth, somebody keep on telling the truth, and then if you come and say that um, she's lying, she's lying, she's lying, she will just say, okay, fine, you people are right, I, I forged it. So I think, I don't know, I can't conclude, but the way this case is, if you guys have been following my videos, I think uh, this is what I can say. Maybe she just admitted forging it, and maybe in the recent, maybe she's not even the one who forged the result. Because she said that she has been taken first from a nursery primary, and for her to even get a uh, score 249, it means that she is brilliant. Like, how many persons, how many jambites can score that, that, uh, that uh, can make that score? You know, it's very, very rare. So, for her to even score over 200, it's something, it's some, it means that she is brilliant. So, it may be that she's, she even scored that 362, maybe that was even a result. But someone somewhere might have manipulated it, but instead they will want to blame it on what's her name, eh, Imesoma. So guys, this is all I have to say. Um, let me know what you think about this at the comment uh, section. And that is it. One more thing, do you think that Innocent Motors, they are going to suspend the scholarship that they gave to Imesoma? Or do you think that they will continue with it? Because this looks like a slab, this looks like a, um, how will I put it, like a disappointment and a slap on Innocent's face. So let me know what you think about this at the comment section. Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to Just Estate.